baseball was it was like a chess game. I love baseball because it is that way. It's nine people on the field, but it's also the people in the dugout. It's the coaches, and everybody's got to do their part to win. Every single person that I feel, you think the pitcher's up there trying to give up a dinger? Ninth, ninth hitter in the lineup, you think he's up there trying to strike out in a key situation with a winning run on third? They're not trying to fail. If you're trying to fail, you shouldn't be in college. You certainly shouldn't be on a baseball field. Everybody's trying to get to the same goal, and the only way you're going to get there is if you pick each other up and you show them how to do it. Talking and job jacking and all that stuff is not going to work. you got to get busy, and you got to do it the right way, and you got to support each other because this is your team. Correct? As long as you guys back each other up, you don't have to depend on anybody else. You got the coaches who are here for your best interest. You got you guys here supporting everybody's best interest. You're trying to make yourself better. To be perfectly honest with you, not a whole lot of people in this dugout are going to play Major League Baseball. That's the bottom line. The unknowing question is who it's going to be. Who's going to make it? It's going to be the guy who gives that extra little bit when everybody else is too tired to move. It's not always the best athlete that gets to Major League Baseball. It's the person who is consistent day in and day out, every single day you're on the field. The person who works a little bit harder, takes extra swings, throws some extra pitches, working on location, takes extra balls, getting beat up behind the plate. Those are the people who move on. The guys who have all this talent and ability, they don't stick around very long because they don't put in the work. If you don't put in the work, you don't get better. And that's what everybody wants. If you can do better here, then you can do better when you get out in the real world. One of the biggest complaints I heard from guys in the minors all the time was, if I could do it over, I would know what to do now. But I've wasted it. And I never got my chance. Be focused and have your heart right. It's not what you do on any particular day. It's not getting 100% one day and 50% another day. 100%, 100% of the time. You step on the field, your mind better be in the game. You step off the field, you can still think of ways you can improve, but don't beat yourself up if you have a bad day. The great thing about baseball is you get another at-bat, you get another pitch, you get another opportunity to prove yourself, even if it's just to you. Take those chances, every opportunity you can, because it's going to make you a better person out in the world. When I grew up as a kid, I didn't talk because my dad didn't want me to talk. He was very strict, he was very harsh, he was rude, verbally abusive, and physically abusive. After I became a major league ball player and became good looking in a movie, God said, I did this stuff for you and now you're going to go out and you're going to do something for me. And he now gives me the ability to go around the world and talk and speak to people who need some assurance that things can get better if they just give a little bit extra. You guys are playing the greatest game on earth. You should never, ever take that for granted. If you mess this up, it's your fault. Not anybody else. The coach didn't give me the opportunity. That guy came in. I didn't know he was coming. He beat me out. He's not any better than I am. If you leave, don't question in anybody's mind, good or bad. And there's no questions answered. You go out and you do it every day. 100%, 100% of the time. Because if it's worth doing well worth doing right. Practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. All the time. It doesn't matter if you're studying at your school. It doesn't matter if you're trying to learn location or get your, your swing down in the right fashion so that your cadence is right with your step. It's all about everything you do. Give it your all on everything. Make sense? It's pretty simple. When I grew up, I got yelled at, cursed at, and berated every step of the way. First my dad and then my high school football coach. They couldn't talk to me about saying the F word and using it in some derogatory fashion towards me. When God decided that I need to be a coach, I made a decision a long time before that. I'm not yelling. I'm not cursing the kids, and I'm not screaming at them because the first thing you're going to do is turn it off. Baseball is about getting along. You guys are getting for a long season. 
And we're a different breed than football players. Because they're stubborn, stupid. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're just different from us. They go out and they knock heads like they do, and they do it for three months. Baseball is a year-round deal. You guys can play as much as you want to. You're not ever going to succeed if you don't give it everything you have. Don't sit there at the age of 30 or 35 and go, well, what if, what if I'd have done this? What if I'd have given it one more shot? What if I'd have done it a little bit better? What if I'd have focused a little bit more? Give yourself the opportunity so that those questions aren't left to be answered at some other point. All the time, 100%. You guys are in the building, how do you want to do it? You're not supposed to win. Who cares what other people think? Who cares, really? Baseball is one game. You don't have to be the biggest, the fastest, the strongest to win. If you do it right on the field, you don't make mistakes. You have to beat yourselves to get beaten. And once in a while, the team's going to come along. They're going to be hot. That's cool. But don't make mistakes giving other people a reason to beat you. Leave it on the field all the time. If you come off the field, you should be dragging because you left it all out there. And if you guys are sitting on the bench one day, cheer the other guys because they're trying to do the best they can. And every little bit of inspiration helps. And if you have a question in your head, go to your coaches, go to your Bible. Go where it counts. I saw a lot of guys in the big leagues messed up because they forgot what they stand for. They thought it was all about fun, it was all about drinking and womanizing and staying up till 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. You guys are gone. It's about getting it right in your heart. And taking care of business while you have the opportunity to. You're young, you're talented, or you wouldn't be in school playing, studying. Take care of all of it. I've heard numerous times guys go, I've done all this stuff and I played my way out of baseball. I flunked my way out of school. I wish I'd have done it differently. I wish I'd have given a little bit more. That's a nice eyesight now. Take care of the business while you have the arms and legs and bodies to do it. Because well, I could throw 98 at 35. I had not taken a ball off a wooden bat in 11 years, and the first ball hit back at me. I wish I hadn't had white pants on. <laughs> I've been over, and the center fielder was picking it up. You lose those things, you get older. Right? Lose it while you're young, the best of your ability. Leave no question and move on. Keep your heart right, your faith right. These guys are trying to help you become the best you you can be. And everything they have to say may not be pleasant. It may not all be positive. It's all going towards one goal. It's to make you better. Everything you may be doing may not be positive. You may need to be brought back down to earth. Or you may need to be lifted up and pushed a little bit. Those guys at Reagan County pushed me back into baseball when I thought baseball was dead. But when I pushed them, they pushed back. They became better than I did. People want to know, where are those kids now? All those kids have graduated from college. They had to put themselves through school because their parents couldn't afford to send them. No baseball players. It's never about baseball. It's about an education. It was about seeing something bigger than what it really is. Going out and making the most out of yourself while you have the opportunity. Those kids had it. They got it. And you know what? At 35, they taught me something. They taught me. So give you guys, give yourself credit. You got here, you're in school. Hopefully you're studying, you're on the ball field, you're playing. Don't look back in 10 years from now and go, God, I wish I'd have studied for that one test. I wish I would have done what Coach wanted me to do and hustled a little bit more. This is a baseball field, gentlemen. This is, this is a treasure to a lot of people. People will give their arms and legs to be out here. Don't take it for granted, because it'll be gone before you.